If I want to make some changes to the look of my user interface, or perhaps um, I want to fine-tune how some of my tools work, these things can be accessed in the Options Control Panel or Options dialog box that you see here. To access this dialog box, I can go to my Application menu, and there's a button down here at the bottom. Another way that I can access this dialog box is to right-click on the screen, and from my pop-up menu that comes with my right-click, I can choose options from the bottom. In looking at my options dialog box, you can see it's organized by tabs along the top. Each one of these tabs represent the settings that go with a particular area of use. So, for example, I can go to display and all of my settings have to do with my display. Or if I go to user preferences, these are things that I can customize according to my own choices in how AutoCAD will work. A common option change that people will make is the color of the drawing window. I'm going to go to the display tab and I can see down here I have a button for colors. In controlling the colors I have the context or the setup that I'm using and all of the different elements that make up a particular context. Right now we're looking at 2D model space. I'm looking at the uniform background. The default is usually black. I'm going to change this to white. Now you can see that I have buttons here. I can also restore back to the default settings all of the different contexts. I'm going to apply and close and you notice that in the background my drawing window has now changed to a white background. Another option that you might consider uh, from our option dialog box is under user preferences the right click customization. What happens with your mouse when you click the right mouse button? You can see right now that by default it's going to show me a shortcut menu each time I hit the right mouse button. But if I turn on a time sensitive right click, if I click the right mouse button quickly AutoCAD sees that as a command is enter, just like hitting enter on the keyboard or the space bar on the keyboard, which ends a command. But if I hold down the right mouse button a little bit longer, I will see a shortcut menu, and it tells me how long this will take. So I'm going to set that one up uh, because I find that very handy to quickly hit the right mouse button to enter and end a command. Let's look at how this would change the behavior of my mouse. So now if I start a command, like line for example, I can draw some lines and if I want to end this command I could hit enter on the keyboard or if I just quickly hit the right mouse button, AutoCAD interprets that as an enter command and ends the command. But if while I'm drawing I want to have access to my pop-up menu. I just hold the right mouse button down for a split second longer and I can see my pop-up menu with my options. So I can save a lot of time by using a quick click on the right mouse button to end a command or just hesitate and I still have access to my pop-up menu. Sometimes I need to set my AutoCAD system options back to their default settings. This might happen if, uh, if something becomes corrupted or if you've made some changes to the options and you want to change it back to the original system defaults. Here's the way that you do it. I open my options dialog box and I go to the profiles tab. You can see that I'm currently on an unnamed profile. I'm going to go down to the reset button and this will reset the values in the selected profile back to the system defaults. So when I click this button I get a warning dialog box and I say yes I want to continue. And now I have reset 
all of my options back to their default settings. So you can see that now my drawing window has been set back to black and any of the other changes that I made to the options have been changed.